30 days. It kind of just comes and then everyone is kind of uh, trying to catch up. I start eating less. <laughs> I try to chew gum throughout the day, but uh, I kind of put the gum away. You're often afraid for the first few days, how are you going to manage? Um, and I just keep it on my mind. I don't like for it to come as a, as a surprise. You have to get ready for smelly breath. Food! Water. 30 days. 19 hours. <laughs> So Ramadan for me is really about getting closer to Allah, about reflection, about where we are in this world. I've been fasting since we were little boys. We used to, um, it was a sign of being a grown up. I remember myself as a, a basketball player um, playing professional. It seemed that Ramadan was always um, a part of the training camp. So when training camp come, I would be fasting. And it made me realize, you know, the training that it is and it, that it's putting us through in order that we become stronger. 27th night. Laylatul Qadr. And during that time when you're fasting and that pain comes in your, in your stomach and you start to begin to complain about how hungry you are, just remember those people who have that same feeling every single day of their lives and pray for them. I mean, the obvious big moment of relief during Ramadan is when you break your fast. When you're breaking your fast, that is a great moment of relief. Just how sweet water is and how delicious food is. I know you guys in the UK had it really, really tough. I mean, what, 17, 18 hour fast? And you're just looking at your clock and waiting for that Adhan to go off. And then you get a chance to get that date with that cream cheese. I, I use cream cheese when it's really, really good. When it's time to break the fast, then I'm going to break my fast. But there's some people who are fasting and they don't have the choice of what to eat and they don't, uh, they don't have, um, they don't know when they are gonna be able to break their fast. Share your relief. Share your relief. Share your relief. Share your relief. Share your relief with those who need it most. Share your relief with Islamic relief. Uh, where I went to school in upstate New York, uh, my teachers at my school just could not understand fasting. They were like, you're a growing boy. What kind of God would make you pass up on lunch <laughs> and stuff? So then, more so out of pity for them than myself, because they were really distraught. They thought I was going to pass out or die. I don't know, but they were really, really concerned, you know? And so I had some milk at lunch, and I failed God. And I have to repent for that.